What's up everybody? Your host, Big Face, Crappie Crossing TV, Lake Arthur Crappie Anglers. Been a while since I made you a video. Been out doing some ice fishing. A lot of dinks. Uh, I'm finally on a new hole that I'd marked with the helix from my boat back in late summer. Spot I wanted to try through the ice. I'm seeing a ton of suspended fish. Everywhere from 30 foot all the way up to 20. I haven't dropped yet. I just got set up, just got the heat going. In fact, that's probably all foggy right now because I'm just getting going. But I'm hoping to bring you something good here tonight. It is what? What is today? Oh, January 28th, 2022. It is 6 p.m. 1800 hours. I'm liking what I'm seeing down there on the helix. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. Nice buddy. There we go. That's what we're talking about there folks. They had disappeared. I think I did my intro about ten minutes ago and then they disappeared. But uh then some suspended ones came back at about twenty two feet and dropped down to them and Pick that one up right there. There we go. There's another one. Nice, nice fish. Nice fish. Another good one, guys. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, man. Let me tell you. Look at that, folks. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm getting him unhooked. Show him to you. I'm in 30, 31 feet of water. Damn. I'm in 31 feet of water. I'm catching them suspended at 20. Oh, look at this bad boy. Right there. Nice one. All right. Number two. There's still more down there, but let me get some pictures get back with you right, guys what I'm using is my four millimeter pink eye goldie that I tie up tip with a waxy right now oh, I don't know if you could see that if it was blurry or what but in there 14 I got more down there now they come through you know off and on I was taking pictures of that one so it took me a while to get back here but I'm gonna take you with me on this one hopefully we can Snatch one up. Live action, you know. Uh oh. Not when that happens. Alright, here we go. Dropping down to them. Dropping down to them. Nothing looking yet. It's dark out. Sometimes I gotta get right on top of them, go through them, and bring it out. Of course, nothing's gonna happen because I got. I got you guys going live with me here. There we go. That was a little tough that time. Big school, but getting one to hit. A little tough. Smaller fish. Decent eater crop. You know, something you want to eat right there. Put them back down there. All right, guys, I'm getting back down there. Got a fresh waxy on there. They're still down there. Let's see what we can do. Meet them on the way down. See if we can get them to charge up. Oh, boy, the wind. Small fish. But he came in, devoted. Choked that bait, man. There's good fish, guys. Oh, yeah. It's a real good one. Get on the transducer. Ah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. Took a little bit of work to coax them in, but uh, 
Yeah. All right, guys, the fish have, have moved off for a minute, so I got a chance to talk. But um, Just telling you again, 4 millimeter pink eye Goldie. Uh, haven't tried any other color jig heads, but I don't really think it would matter. You got to work them a little bit. A lot of them come in hot, and then they slam those brakes on. Uh, seems to be when I get the, the schools that are up high, you know, 10 to 12 foot off bottom they come through about every 15 minutes or so those are the active fish these ones that are sitting at about 20 a little lower they kind of come and look on a mission but then they stop so it's when these other schools come up you know a little higher 10 15 feet 15 foot down 15 feet from the bottom because we're in 30 uh, they seem to be more active and, and bigger fish so that's what we're doing this setup here i bought cheese out this is a beaver dam 32 inch glass noodle equipped with a frable spring bobber um, i'm running uh, a three pound test high vis orange micro ice uh, that i always use people try to talk about this line and say it's no good but you see i sling them out of 20 feet of water 15 10 whatever even down to 30 when i want to keep them i have no issues so that's what i'm using and uh, i'll get back to you when we get some more fish was all by himself and I coaxed him in to bite but I jumped it a little bit <laughs> it happens oh he got a sore lip he don't want to go at that again <laughs> you don't want to go at that again that was enough for him he was a lone fish all by himself so yeah, just having a good time here tonight. It's been tough, you know, since the ice come on. Uh, fish are finally starting to be where I want them to be uh, for this night bite. So, should give us good nights from here on out. Get even better closer we get to the new moon phase. And after this warm front that's coming through. Yeah. So let's keep at it. Stick with me. Another small one in that group. The ones that seem to be most aggressive right now. A little young juvenile fish. But that's alright. Because, uh... There you go. Catching fish. I mean, that, that, that was a major school that I was telling you about down there. I mean, the screen was cluttered. I couldn't even tell what the bait was doing on the graph. Here we go, guys. Better one. Definitely a better one. You've got some weight to them. Oh, yeah. Come on, bud. Be better. Pink Eye Goldie again. I tried my crush, and uh, they didn't want much to do with it. So I went back to the Goldie. Been eating fat, man, fat. I love you. Get back with you here shortly. Here we go, folks. Got another one here. Not too big. Transducer. Oh, buddy. Come on. Make it hard on me. <laughs> well, you all twisted. Sorry, guys. I can't even see what I'm doing here. Little fish. Little fish. Let's get him back down there. See what we can figure out on this tranny. <laughs> I'm all cut up. 
I kind of figured out how they want it done. You know. Um, pretty much just dragging it up through the school. Come on, buddy. You guys don't know how to swim down. I used to ain't that thick. <laughs> I used to ain't that thick. They can figure it out. But what I'm doing is dragging up through the school real slow. Trying to get above them. And enticing them to come up and strike wasn't working anymore. So. I get right into the school. Drag the bait up slowly. Not even watching the graph, just watching the spring. As I'm coming up, you see a little tick. Then I look down at the screen and see if there's a separation. And then tease that fish from there. <sighs> Alright. Let's go for another. You're stuck on the ice. Come on, little fella. Stuck on the ice down here. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. I stuck my hand all the way down in the hole. <laughs> he was stuck. Little guy. But the smallest one of the night. Little. He's tiny. Uh oh. And bring no rag, drop my glasses in the slush, everything. That's what we do in the name of fish. <laughs> Let's get back down there. Small one. I think it's a small one, folks. Yep. Man, little guys, they're inhaling these baits. Yep. Yeah, jeez. Jeez Louise, little guy, tiny. <laughs> little ones, man. They're on a mission. They ain't messing around. We had some pretty tough winds come through here. Blew in my sides. It kind of died down a little bit now. Yeah, some serious wind there. We're getting back down there. Look like a lot of my score disappeared. Yeah, I was just playing with three of them down here, and uh, finally got the one to commit. They weren't doing anything, and all of a sudden this one turned, little guy, this one turned and shouted. He wanted it, you know. I got everyone from the group and everyone texting me and messaging me on where to fish or and what to do. And my phone's always in my hand. And I'm not always paying the best attention. Go ahead, boy. Some deep ice you got to get through there. So I'm not always paying the best attention. I'm on this doggone phone. That's what happens when you run a group and you get 200 private messages a day. You run a YouTube page. And guys know I can get on the fish, but hey, so can you. It's been tough, man. Even the night with all these fish I found, it's not. You know, you, you really got to work on I mean, different finesses. Tick, 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 or a double tick, or a slow rise. It all matters. It all matters, man. No doubt about it. Here we go. Better fish there. Oh, yeah. Definitely better fish. I chased him down, man. Yeah, he's better. Definitely better. Not enormous, but better. Nice fish. Roof of the mouth. Pretty one. 
pretty black crappie. You are party or handsome. Whatever you are. Let's take a picture how they're choking that bait down in there. Take a picture of that stuff. Because he is choking. Man, he screamed up on me. There we go. So I say the way he was coming, and no way he was backing off. Of course, <laughs> I've seen him do that tonight. That's a pretty good fish. Pretty decent fish. Not news, but nah. <laughs> he had more fighting than he is in size, but it's pretty much been that pink eyed goldie all night you know gotta play them slow though you know until you get them kind of angry and then they want to commit and rush in like this one did he had a lot of shoulders on him but I thought he was a lot bigger another one here folks not too big oh that's the first one I lost tonight I'm having a problem with my heater over here. It's not wanting it shut down for some reason. It's getting cold in here mighty quick. <laughs> Let's see. That might be that might be sending me home soon. I ain't gonna be out there with no heat. That's for damn sure. I got the pilot going. Kicks on and blows out the pilot, so I threw him a couple. Goes out. I mean, the pilot goes out because the thermocouple is not sensing heat. Yep. Here I am trying to fish. I should be focusing on the heater. I got fish down there. Whew, getting cold, you see my breath. Alright, I gotta get that working. I'll get back on these fish in a minute. Another one. Nothing crazy big. Nothing big at all. Yeah. You must have swiped and missed that. I hooked you in the forehead. Tiny. Tiny. Tiny, tiny. I was playing around on the phone. There was no fish down there. <sighs> Another messenger thing I'm doing. People asking me for advice. Tips and tricks. And I look over at the graph and <laughs> it's Christmas tree, man. Oh boy. Better work these fish. So I did and pulled that one. Nah. Stop on the transducer again. Ah, he's just a little fart. Caused me all that trouble. You caused me all that transducer trouble. I'm tiny, that one. He jumped, he jumped out of the hole, guys. He was on his way home. And then jumped back up out of the hole. <laughs> like he wanted to be in the skillet or something. Ooh, we got a mess of them down there. Gotta get back. Yeah, they're they're moving. Jeez, jeez, jeez. That's all right. They come right back around. No biggie. It's almost quite aggressive. Hey man, 
little guys are putting up a fight tonight, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> little guys are putting up a fight. Got my drag going. Rod bending all crazy. Heater keeps going out. Got that working again. I was about to froze. <laughs> so, whew, get on down in there, fish. There you go. Thought that was much bigger than it was, but not. Still a ton of fish down there. They're getting a little more finicky as the night wears on, but I'm about done, man. I've caught boatloads, or should I say bucket fulls, because there's no boat here. <laughs> Just being an idiot. You know, I think I'll be wrapping it up here soon. Especially because that heater keeps going out, and it takes me 10 minutes to get it going again. And I caught plenty of fish. Got about a half mile walk across the ice. Back to the truck. After I get all this busted down and strapped down on a sled and all that good stuff. You know how that goes. It's all fun, having fun, and then you gotta bust down and get out of this heat out there in the cold. Start touching stuff. Gloves get wet, whatever. Hands get cold. Pretty cold out there. It's good. It's going down pretty low tonight. Ooh boy, look at that big skull just moved in. Let's see what we can do with them. <clears throat> Thinker. No. Little thick shoulder guy. Not bad. He's not bad. He got the real dark chin on him. Yeah. He does. I want to get a photo of this guy because his chin is super dark. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get back on that diet again, man. Holidays. I took a break from the diet after all the months and put some weight back on big time. Uh, I got to get back on that. Summer's coming around the corner, believe it or not. Alright, let's uh, try to jig one of these up. They kind of dispersed, man, by the time I got there. Yeah. They thinned out. There's only two there. Bunch on the bottom, but I'm not going down after them because they're 30 foot. And I ain't keeping fish, so. I'm gonna kill them, bring them up out of there. Better be ready to keep whatever you catch. Sometimes I get them little ones, I keep them because they're gonna kill them. And I'll put them in food processor, make crappie cakes, just like crab cakes, but crappie, really good. But, like I said, I'm not keeping tonight. So I'm staying up around 20 feet. Boatloads of them down there on the bottom, but I haven't even been going down to mess with them. For that reason. That's a big one, boy. He's a big mark. He's a good fish. He was all alone. Tighten up that drag a little bit. mother I missed him on the first hit I went back down he swiped it again I seen him right there at the hole every bit of 15 16 damn it son of a wow he got hit right on the edge of the freaking ice you know how that goes Basically unhooked them. Ah, oh, man. That's the fish I've been waiting for all night. 
and I was getting ready to leave and it was finally given to me and I pulled him right into the bottom of the ice hole there <clears throat> probably hit his mouth right on there pushing the hook right out that's what happened there that was a pig that was a pig let me tell you glasses fell off back there all right ladies gentlemen i'm gonna wrap it up i caught a ton of fish it's uh 10 15 79 about four hours of fishing and about a hundred fish <laughs> so i'm good for the night um, fish are still here a bunch of they've slowed down on this particular jig head i don't feel like switching stuff out i'm gonna bail out and head home I caught plenty of fish had a real good time first uh good basin bite night of this season um it's only gonna get better i mean hard to get better than what happened tonight but it will get to the point where they ferociously ferociously feed you know, every time you drop bait down, they're coming up to meet it. That's the stuff I like. But tonight was good. I had a good time. Thank you guys all for joining me. Uh, I started a, a Twitter thing over there, so I'll put it up there somewhere. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Um, Crappie Crushing TV. And then we have our group, which is Lake Arthur Crappie Anglers. I'm on Lake Arthur tonight. Just about 3,000 members right now. So, uh, yeah, come over and check us out there, and good luck out there. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. I'm Big Faze, and I'm out of here.